If you don't think cash of one in here, all the one Nigeria folks, this is where they are giving them clothes. They give them clothes, uh, they, they, they hire them for fifty fifty dollars and they give them clothes. As you, as you can see, you know, you know, you know, you think cash of one, cherry, one cash of one bed. One Nigeria folks, if you are not in cash of one, you are most of these people gone one shit. You one higher money. Nigeria is a terrorist, though. Nigeria is a terrorist country. If you want something like this to happen to you, you can claim Nigeria. This like, is exactly what they are doing in Nigeria. Really? They are killing people. They are killing people. The government of Nigeria is terrorist. Yes. If you are paying want them money. this thing to happen to you, you can go and yes. get that suit. Go get your money. Go and get that suit. If you want something that happen here to happen to your family, go and get that money. Nigeria government is a wicked government. Nigeria government is a Nigeria government is tyranny. Uh, do you mind I ask a few questions? Can I record you? Uh, I want also want to know what is going on today. Well, this is uh, protesting for Nigeria. Oh, for Nigeria. Yeah. For a stronger Nigeria. So Nigerian Christian, not target of genocide or ethnic cleansing. Uh, so what part of Nigeria is? You're not a Nigerian. So how then you're not a Nigerian and you're protesting for Nigeria? Anybody's black. Protest for them. Well, you know, when you got to protest, you got to protest with the information and the stuff that is happening. No. So how do you know that Nigerian Christians are not the target? How did you know that? I don't know. So why don't you have the placard? Oh, look, let me tell you something. Me? I protest for anybody. I help a lot of people. So you were paid to do this? Yeah. Or you were paid to do this? Yeah. I just, I just joined them with everybody. And because I you don't know black, white. No, I understand. It, it is good to support brothers, to support the uh, culture, but also it is also good to protest and pass the right information. It's a lot, right? it's a lot of information going out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people twist a lot of things up. Yeah. I don't know for sure. But well, you, well, you got to do a little well, bit of digging. However, however, you know what I'm saying? I'm just here to help everybody out. I understand that. Yeah, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You're doing what they ask you to do. Yeah. At least you're paid to do this and you're doing what you get paid for. No, it's not about pay. You know what I'm saying? It's just about helping people out. I understand. I but they gave you the wrong information, though. I'm just trying to help to bring you out. And we all are from Africa. So when they give an information that is not correct, I don't yeah. know what was correct. All I was told that they needed me for this. For this. Who, 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 who was that that bring you people here? Uh, I got a bunch of little kids over there in the Bronx. In the Bronx. Uh, uh, they, they asked me, see your tone. We go over there and help us out. Uh, you know so I, I decided to go over there and help them out. No problem. Thank you very much. I just wanted to know what is going on. Thank All right. you. Hi. Right. Uh, sir. Excuse me. Is it okay if I talk to you on the camera? Yeah, I'm really not supposed to do that. The guy is, uh, you know, he, he's in charge. He's okay, he don't want you guys to talk on the camera. All right, All right no problem. Where are you from? Huh? We're beer friends. Huh? We are beer friends. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. So they don't want you talking to us? That's what you told Oh, where are you from, though? I just want I'm to know. I'm from here. So you're not from Nigeria? No. How come you have Nigeria in your I, I can't, I can't. I can't go to the same Alright, I understand your problem. <laughs> no, no, I would not. <laughs> Hello, brothers. Is it okay if I talk to you guys on camera? Okay, please. I just want to find out what is going on here today. You are protesting? Uh, yeah, I see your black I say stronger, uh, stronger together. So, what part of Nigeria are you from, sir? No? Do you mind me asking that? All right, no problem. Yeah, but where are you from, sir? So he no one talk because in boss don't come out. People will pay them don't come out. But this is not bad. And they ask them to come and help us. They are helping out. It's okay. They they, they don't know. You know how much money they paid the person that is organizing it. It's all right. It's all right. Exactly. You should know why you're carrying placards and the reason why you're carrying placards. You understand? I can see my sister. I just want to know what part of Nigeria you from. We all are from there. Huh? 
Where are you from? I'm from the east. The eastern part of huh? Where are you from? Let me be a writer. What's your name? Huh? Your name? I'm from the eastern part of Nigeria. It's called Biafra. So where are you from? Same part. Same part? Okay. Listen, his friend over there is giving his sign. He shouldn't stop. It's all right. Thank you. We know what's going on. Thank you. We filed the complaint. Basically, the background is we think it's very clear that because of the government of Nigeria's fear uh, of losing uh, certainly the battle in public opinion of their maltreatment of the Biafrans uh, and IPOB, that uh, the government paid a purported professor at the University of Baltimore to write this polemic against IPOB. It really is quite amateurish. It accuses Biafrans of taking machetes and chopping children's heads off, burying them in graves. There's nothing specific about the, the, uh, the incidents at all. It's just all very large numbers, 344% increase of attacks on security personnel, no place, no time, no names, nothing. And as a consequence of this tirade, which was urging the Secretary of State in the United States to list IPOB as a terrorist organization, which is absurd, because among other things, you have to be threatening the security interests of the United States, as far as I know. No Biafran has ever set a, a glove on any American. Um, that, uh, that we then have brought a defamation suit. It's a 21 count defamation suit for the attempt to ruin the reputation of IPOB in the United States, not only against the author, who seems to be a Moroccan who worked in Buhari's campaign under David Axelrod earlier in 2015, but against his employer, the University of Baltimore, which we suspect received money from the government of Nigeria in order to permit this professor to identify himself with the government. And also, we suspect that the Washington Times, which was the newspaper organ that published this article, of have being paid off in some way or other to publish something that clearly would not meet journalistic standards under any ordinary test. One of the reasons why we're fortified in that belief is that immediately after the article was published, I wrote a letter to the editor pointing out all the multiple misstatements in the article. I received immediately a response from the Washington Times, and I've raked with them for a long time, saying, we will publish your letter the next day. And I sent that, I think, I think to Ejifor, the distributor. Well, it didn't appear the next day. It hasn't appeared ever since. It seems quite clear that somebody upstairs in the Washington Times who is getting paid off as a favor because the article that we have challenged as defamatory is it's amateurish. It is not journalistically um, professional. So why would the Washington Times risk its brand, its status as a newspaper by publishing this unless they got a payoff? So we filed the summons <coughs> yesterday. I got the summons. So the summons is something that requires you to serve the defendant so they know they have 21 days to respond or there'll be a default judgment. So we're in the 21 day period now uh, because we've now filed and got the summons on the way to distribute the, the complaints. So that's where that stands at present. I, I don't know, sir, if they uh, last for me. In the complaint of five districts, did you make any? Monetary demand for damages. I think there is the, the, the way the way in which you typically in the United States plead. Um, oftentimes uh, we just say damages according to proof at trial, because until you that, and sometimes in a situation of defamation, oftentimes the injury occurs in the form of people who don't talk to you anymore. They don't show up on your doorstep, so it's hard to prove something directly that doesn't happen, right? Uh, but we did ask for uh, 50, in gross $50 million in damages because we think this is punitive damages as well. Punitive damages are things that are given not because of harm to you, but because the defendant acted out of ill will or spite. They had no redeeming purpose. Then just to try to punish and to deter repetition, you can get punitive damages, which oftentimes are 20, 30 times what your compensatory damages are. So anyway, that's, that's out there.